All right, YouTubers, this is a Yanmar 3GM30 alternator. And what I'm doing here is to add a W terminal to it. It doesn't have it from factory. What happens is um, this engine uses a uh, indu inductive sensor on the bell housing that generates the, the taco uh, signal. But the problem is the instrument I'm using is supposed to work with alternator signal and that inductive sensor generates a very high frequency. I measured about 2.5 kilohertz with the engine running about 1200 RPM, so it's a lot. Uh, with alternator we're expected to get around 100 and something hertz or even less maybe at that uh, speed. So instead of changing the instrument I'm just going to add a terminal connected to the windings which is also known as the W terminal. Okay so those three screws, holes, terminals, they connect to the rectifier bridge and this and this are connected to the negative side of the bridge and this is connected to the positive which is identified by this bat as supposed to be the battery terminal. Those two on the negative, for some funny reason, uh, Itachi, which is a manufacturer of the alternator, put insulator bushings here exactly the same as the positive. The positive is needed, of course, you don't want it to short on the housing, but the negative, for some reason, is not connected to the housing. It's funny that this is not an insulated alternator, as those terminals here that hold the voltage regulator, uh, they are actually bonded to the housing for some funny reason, and I don't know why they did that, because you need to jump from here to there to get uh, the rectifier receiving the current through the negative too. So I'm gonna need actually two uh, insulators to install my new terminal. I've just marked it with low stamp here W and I'm gonna increase the diameter of this hole here which is, has a good clearance to the existing internals and put a terminal uh, and also a screw coming out with a nut and then solder that into the to the windings. What I'm going to use as insulators are those two bushings here because this is negative so I'm going to actually put the nut straight into the housing and then I end up bonding actually those two together. Okay so you can see here on the bridge you do need those two insulators here to work as spacers in order to keep this bridge in the correct position because this is the positive terminal. You can see it's insulated in here. This is the negative side of the bridge and here on this lower plate is the positive side of it. I've identified. And here you can double check that the negative side of the plate is actually mechanically connected to the screw. There is a kind of a, a spline here that indents into the plate. Same as here. But we need this so we keep this thing in the same position. The position of this uh, new hole I'm gonna drill it's going to be about here, so there's plenty of clearance here, so it doesn't touch anything. Okay, so here how it looks externally. We have the bushing, and actually the bushing has got a nice shape for getting the rubber cover that goes into here and, close, and protects the terminal. On the inside you can see there's a small screw in here with, with an internal insulator too. And a piece of rigid wire that I'm gonna solder into the field on the windings when I connect it. Okay, looking from the inside, once it's assembled, um, the wire is soldered here on this terminal. It can be in any of the windings uh, terminal in phase. It's a three-phase alternator, and I've used it uh, solid copper, so it stays nice and and firm on the side so it's not gonna fly away and then catch the rotating part and on the outside you can see the terminal it, it looks almost like it's been there from factory and to hold the brushes there's a trick there's a small hole in the bottom you just compress the brushes and use a an two millimeter allen key or two millimeter diameter piece of uh, wire and just hold it in place now you can assemble and then when it's, once it's uh, completed you just pull out the wire Okay, all the four screws are tightened. Now, just get the, the key away, and now the brushes are touching. So, 
This is the new terminal, as it got an installator. I can fit this rubber boot here. Well, two hands obviously. Okay, so the two the two rubber boots that uh, were used, one goes into the positive uh, uh, terminal on the output terminal, the other one goes into the new W terminal. It looks like it's a factory connection. There is another uh, pair of connectors here. Um, the blue with a white strip is the warning light terminal. You should wire this to the light, to the negative side of the light, and the positive side of the light goes into the key on positive. And this is the sense. This alternator has an external sense. So you can, if you wire um, a series of diodes to isolate your service and engine batteries, you can connect this to the engine batteries and then get uh, this the voltage from from the real battery not from the diode and you should connect this to the positive if you want the alternator to be working all right if you, if you liked it just give it a thumbs up and sign the channel for more news